Hey everyone, this is Cardow. I'm a moderator of the subreddit for PC Build Help, and there has been a lot of posts of builds going on, uh, and I've suggested this particular motherboard we're going to talk about today. This is the MSI B550A Pro. Um, any board that has this feature is should be standard across all of the manufacturers and suppliers, uh, and it is the flash BIOS button. So I've got a system in the back here uh, finally got all the parts after slow shipping had a pretty bad snowstorm here and uh, so we got everything we're ready to start uh, building this machine and I figured why not show everybody how to do the BIOS flash so <clears throat> this is the product page on MSI you just do a Google search for B550A Pro and then you click the support and then on drivers and downloads you go to this BIOS and you'll see the BIOS version here. The, top, the newest one is always at the top. And we click download. And we're gonna save that. And then what we'll see is a folder in this zip file. This is the actual ROM file. And we're gonna move this over here. And we're gonna come over to our PC. And I've got a drive. I'm just gonna format this again. So you do a FAT32. It's just a little short little two gig drive. That's all you need. And I'll do a click format. There we go. And we just open this up and we drag this right onto the USB stick. And when this is done, what we'll do is we'll flip over to the uh, actual motherboard and show you what it looks like. So you're going to rename this file to msi.rom. So this is if you are doing using the flash BIOS button if you have a you just want to do it normally you don't have to rename it you just put it in and it will actually detect all the BIOS on the uh, USB stick usually it's like a file browser that lets you do it and uh, that's it so let's pop over all right so this is our workstation what we've got is our motherboard here and we got the power supply we're gonna unpack all this stuff and I will show you what needs to be hooked up or what I do when I do these things and uh, we will see how far we get. All right, so we've got this all unplugged here, uh, or unpackaged rather. Uh, and what you can see is this uh, this particular motherboard is a semi-modular, so it has the 24 pin and the CPU already connected. You cannot remove it, unlike a modular one. And it has the uh, CPU uh, two for the EPS and the regular CPU plug. Uh, <clears throat> this board only has the one so that we'll just tuck the other one away and we're going to plug all these things into the 24 pin and the CPU pin header right there, 8 pin, and uh, we will go through the actual FLYOS button which is actually right here. So this is the flash BIOS button and this is the port that you put the USB into. So let's get that done. Okay, so we are all hooked up. We've got our USB installed. We've got the power here. Let's flip it on. And then what we'll do is we will push this little button right here. And you see that little light going off? This here will take about five minutes. It's reading the USB drive. And when it's done blinking, that means it's done. So uh, that's all you have to do. You can see you now we got some fan spin. We got uh, an LED light here, so it's uh, the diagnostic LEDs are popping up telling us what it's doing. The light's still blinking, so that means it's doing stuff. You don't need CPU or RAM or anything plugged in. It just works with the button and 24 pin. And I don't, I'm pretty sure that you don't need the CPU, but I just plug it in anyways, just in case. Um, because then there's at least something on, like in the power. I don't know. I just do it anyways because it's there and. Uh, so no, no, no skin off my back to make sure that's in there. So uh, yeah, still blinking away. We'll uh, we'll come back when this is done. All right. So as you can see, the light is no longer blinking on the uh, uh, flash update. The light still stays on, and the fan is still spinning. So that means it's safe to power this off. And what we'll do is we will install the processor, the RAM, and then we're going to see if it at least posts. All right, so we've got a, uh, a cool little, this is a Dell all-in-one that is broken. No, the drive's gone. Uh, I just use it because it has an HDMI input and it's a, a cool looking display. It's also been dropped. Uh, that was my bad. I was making my arcade cabinet. So 
we're just going to make sure that we are on the right input so that is okay that's the internal computer so this is the display for the HDMI we've got hooked up and we have a keyboard hooked up and uh, we will just go through some stuff so now you'll look at the front panel connector uh, it says if I get some stuff out of the way here the power is the top two on the right and the switches on the resets on the bottom so on the panel these two are the reset and these top ones are the power so what we'll do so I can do this with one hand we hold this and we got boot we got some spin and we'll see what we got here cool there we go we got BIOS screen so we can go through here you can see we've got RAM speed defaults so 2133 we'll do that later once we get the uh, system all built and uh, yeah everything seems to be working uh, we have no no uh, thing in here we can see our new BIOS version which is the name prior to us renaming it to msi.rom so the flash took we got BIOS at posts uh, into BIOS at least so we will put the whole computer together and see uh, if we can how stable it is and do some tests on it you know 500 gig SATA it's a newer drive it's not quite the chunkers that I'm used to but technology it's really something